Hello, I'm Shristi and welcome to day eight of the 30 day Mean Stack Honolulu Challenge. Uh, today we're going to have uh, a little bit of fun with it. We're going to work on the sign up page um, because tomorrow we're going to start to get into the real, the real crux or the real guts of the, um, the app when we start to move into looking at customers and the way that the, um, the app is kind of structured around that. So we'll leave that for tomorrow, but today let's have a little bit of fun. Um, what, we don't actually have a wireframe for the sign up page. Uh, but that's all right. We'll just use the styles from the sign-in page, apply that to the sign-up page, and we'll be done in a few minutes. All right, let's get right into it. So, a quick look at what we've what we've currently got. So, the sign-up page looks something like this. Uh, we're going to get rid of uh, all the social um, accounts to begin with, um, and then we'll start to format out. Our, um, our our data fields um, and you know, go with the same kind of approach that we had in our wireframe, whoops, um, to get it to look, uh, to get it to look something like this. So we'll, we'll go with that white background, space out the fields um, and give the, um, the error message a little bit of um, formatting as well. Okay, so let's do it. Um, so I'm gonna just jump across um, so I've got WebStorm open over here. Uh, I'll go across to signup.clientview. So I'm in, um, if we start from the top, I'm in the main project, down in the public folder, uh, across at modules, uh, down in the users module, and all the way down in views, uh, and then authentication. So signup.client.view.html is what we're looking at. Okay, so we want to just start hacking away at the code. So we'll get rid of uh, the code at the top here. Um, so that will take away all the social accounts. Um, we'll, uh, we'll get rid of, um, or we'll just copy the, the line three heading and just put that under the div so that we've got it within the same column that we're working on. Get rid of the, um, the column D12, leave the text as center and we'll just change this to, um, uh, sign up for now that that will do um, we want to change these classes here make them similar to what we have for our sign in page so we can just go across and copy all of that out and that will copy our um, our white background as well so let's do that um, moving down uh, don't need to do anything on line four let's make that bigger so you can have a look um, further down from that, we want to get rid of all the labels. So we don't need labels. Um, when you get rid of the labels and you're not sure um, of the field that you're dealing with, uh, if you're dealing with any of the predefined code like this page, you can see that they've, um, the inputs already have names there for you. So you won't, um, you won't, uh, you won't miss the label being gone. Um, and then we'll do what we've done uh for our um our input groups here so we've got an input group with a span and a glyphic on the middle so you can just grab um grab that code don't forget the div after the input type uh, so we'll pop that in here and just make sure we've uh, got another div give that just a line that's spacing wise um, and I'll probably just indent that as well so it's, it's a little bit easier to see. Uh, what we want to do next is just, um, I'm going to just change the, the Glyphicon from a user to, uh, let's keep it fun, so I'll just go with star. Uh, and, um, and that means I should just be able to reuse that for the next one as well. So um, when we look at the first name and the last name, there'll be a nice big star next to it because you're a star and let's put in the div get rid of that line there whoops um, and just format that across so we've got that those two done so the first name we've got our last name uh, we're going to email so I'll just copy that again um, and we'll, uh, we'll plug in the div let me see if I can do it a bit Cleaner, there we go, div. Um, this time, um, so this is 
email um, and we just use uh, envelope envelope there we go and for the next one uh, we have the username so just use the same one that we had uh, on the sign-in page so we've got user Put in div, uh, close that off, just indent that, uh, and then we've got password. So again, do the same thing, just close the div off there. Okay, um, that's more or less done. We'll get rid of the star here and just go with asterisk. ASTR. Good. Um, now the other thing we wanted to do is um, we had in our in our sign in page. If I show you the wireframe. Uh, we had the um, we had the login button go all the way across, and we do that uh, here as well. So um, that's just this bit here. So we had the submit button we want it button. We want it to be um, large, which should be LG um button primary no that's blue we want it just to be success just to keep it consistent and we'll just make it button block um i grab this bit of code here um because i don't really want it to be within that form group um and i'll just put it just after the div for now so that will just sit here um, and I'll get rid of, whoops, I need this button to be back here. Um, get rid of, uh, whoops, I need to leave that inside the button, of course. Um, so sign up and then we're just going to say or, uh, or sign in um, over there. Uh, we'll grab this error message down the bottom and put that in. Uh, we decided that we'd put it into a form group so let's do that um, and we just wanted to wrap that into uh, or wrap that up in an alert so we just need to uh, create a div class alert alert danger so that's red um, and we just give it a role of alert as well and put make sure we put the actual error message within that alert too okay that should more or less be it let's go and have a quick look at how that went jump across to the app and there we go it's already restarted for us taking our changes what i might just do is is center that line at the bottom there i'll just throw that into the div um, Text center, um, yeah, we can make it a form group, that's fine. Just looking at the button above it. Um, grab that and put it in there. Make that bigger so you can see it. And let's save that. And hopefully it will now center it. So there you go. So that's just centered that up. I think that's probably where we'll leave it today. Tomorrow we'll start looking at the um, the customers pages. So uh, on the um, on the factual design post that I've got up on bossable.com, um, the customers page starts to look at uh, viewing customers, searching customers, um, uh, creating them and updating them using uh, modal windows. So we'll. Um, We'll start on that tomorrow. Um, thanks for joining me. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you if you already have. Um, and check out uh, bossable.com for more details. Uh, thanks again. See you tomorrow.